Leopard 2 Main Battle Tank Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into one of the most badass armored beasts ever created. The Leopard 2 Main Battle Tank With its deadly combination of speed, power, and armor, the Leopard 2 is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. But why do military forces around the world rely on it to protect their nations? Meet the beast of the battlefield, the Leopard 2. This third-generation German main battle tank, MBT, was born to dominate. Developed by Krauss Mafi in the 1970s and ready for action since 1979. With its sleek design and impressive capabilities, it quickly replaced the older Leopard 1 and became the top choice for the West German Army. But the Leopard 2 didn't stop there. It continues to reign supreme, serving in the armed forces of not just Germany, but also 13 other European countries and several non-European states, including Canada, Chile, Indonesia, and Singapore. In fact, some states have even licensed the Leopard 2 design for local production and development. Now that's a tank that packs a punch. Design Size Weighing over 60 tons, the Leopard 2 A6 is heavier than both the T-72B3, around 50 tons, and the T-90M, just over 50 tons. Main Gun The Leopard 2 A6 features a 120mm smoothbore main gun, RD120L55, which is a slightly longer version of the main gun used on the US M1A2 Abrams tanks. The T-72B3 and T-90M are both equipped with versions of the 2A46 125mm smoothbore main gun. Effective Firing Range With the capability of engaging targets with laser homing anti-tank munitions at up to 8,000 meters, the Leopard 2A6 outranges both the T-72B3 and T-90M. The two Russian tanks can effectively fire out to a range of 3 to 5,000 meters, depending on the specific version of the 2A46 main gun and ammunition used. Crew Size The Leopard 2A6 requires a crew of four, one more than both the T-72B3 and T-90M. Armor The Leopard 2A6 has spaced armor, with additional composite armor for greater crew protection in some export versions. While the T-72B3 has both steel and composite armor, and the T-90M has slat armor, the Leopard 2A6 can also be equipped with explosive reactive armor, but it is unclear if this is included with the vehicles Ukraine will receive. The T-72B3 features Contact 5 reactive armor, and the T-90M is equipped with Relic reactive armor. Operational History The Leopard 2 isn't just a tank, it's a true global defender. Over the years, this mighty machine has been put to the test in some of the most challenging and dangerous situations around the world. In the 1990s, German army troops used the Leopard 2 on peacekeeping missions in Kosovo, showcasing its versatility and effectiveness in tense and uncertain environments. But that was just the beginning. In the 2000s, Dutch, Danish, and Canadian forces deployed their own Leopard 2 tanks to Afghanistan as part of their contribution to the International Security Assistance Force proving their power and precision on the modern battlefield. As we move into the 2010s, Turkish Leopard 2 tanks were called upon to face off against enemy forces in Syria, proving once again why this tank is a force to be reckoned with. And in the 2020s, Leopard 2 tanks donated by several countries to Ukraine are poised to see action in the Russian-Ukrainian war, demonstrating the global reach and power of this remarkable machine. So whether it's peacekeeping, combat, or defense, the Leopard 2 is always ready to answer the call. Manufacturing There's a lot more to the Leopard 2 than meets the eye. This remarkable main tank has undergone two main development tranches, with each bringing a new level of advanced technology and improvements to the battlefield. The first tranche includes tanks produced up to the Leopard 2A4 standard, featuring vertically faced turret armor. But the second tranche, from Leopard 2A5 onwards, takes things to a whole new level with angled arrow-shaped turret applique armor, alongside other upgrades that are sure to give the competition a run for their money. When it comes to armament, the Leopard 2 packs a punch with its smoothbore 120mm cannon, made by none other than Rheinmetall. But that's not all. The tank also boasts a digital fire control system, laser rangefinder, 
and cutting-edge night vision and sighting equipment, making it a true force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. And let's not forget about the tank's power source, a V-twin turbo diesel engine made by MTU Friedrichshaven, delivering the kind of power and agility you need in a tank that's ready for anything. Leopard 2 tanks use spaced multi-layer armor made of a combination of steel plates, elastic materials, and non-metallic materials. The armor is designed to withstand large caliber kinetic energy penetrators and shape charge projectiles. The armor thickness is increased from 800 mm on the Leopard 2A4 to 1500 mm on the Leopard 2A5 and subsequent models with wedge-shaped armor modules. The tank also has armored skirts on the side of the hull to increase protection against projectiles and RPGs and reinforced hull floors for protection against mines. The Leopard 2 tank uses compartmentalization to protect the crew from possible sources of fire or explosion, with ammunition and hydraulics stored separately. The tank is also equipped with a Draugr NBC overpressurization system for protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. Smoke mortars, fire extinguishers, and blow-off panels are also installed for additional protection. The Leopard 2's fire control system is an advanced suite of technology that includes dual magnification stabilized primary sight with an integrated ND, YAG laser rangefinder, and CMT thermographic camera. This primary sight is linked to the tank's fire control computer, which is also fed range data from the tank's auxiliary telescope and the commander's Parry R17A2 panoramic periscope sight. The fire control suite is capable of providing up to three range values in four seconds allowing the computer to calculate a firing solution quickly and accurately. The maximum range of the laser rangefinder is up to 10,000 meters, with an accuracy of 10 meters at that range. The combined system enables the Leopard 2 to engage moving targets at ranges of up to 5,000 meters, while on the move over rough terrain. Development The German military planned for an advanced tank after Leopard 1, leading to the failed MBT-70 project. The Gilded Leopard study by Porsche offered upgrades to the tank, prompting the experimental Lent Wicklung program in 1976. Krauss Maffei collaborated with Porsche and Wegman to develop the chassis and turret for two prototypes with improved firepower and a computerized fire control system. The goal was to match the MBT-70's capabilities. The Keiler prototypes, ET-01 and ET-02, were built in 1969 and 1970 and powered by the MB-872 engine, representing a significant advancement in tank development. However, with the cancellation of the MBT-70 program, the focus shifted to the Leopard 2K, which featured a 122mm smoothbore gun, a computerized fire control system, and improved armor protection. The first prototype was completed in 1974 and production began in 1979. The Leopard 2 became one of the most advanced and capable main battle tanks in the world, continuously upgraded and exported to multiple countries. In 1971, 16 Leopard 2 prototypes were built with different components and concepts, including 10 turrets with 105mm guns and 7 with 120mm guns, and the hydro pneumatic suspension in PT-11 and PT-17. The prototypes were equipped with MEES-12 optical rangefinder and fire control system and had a projected weight of MLC-50. In mid-1973, a new lighter turret design called the Spitzmaus Term was developed, but never produced due to the demand for higher protection after the Yom Kippur War. The weight limit was increased from MLC-50 to MLC-60, and the T-14 turret was modified with a new armor configuration. EMES-13 optical rangefinder and a fully electric turret drive and stabilization system. In 1973, the German and U.S. defense minister agreed to standardize main battle tanks for NATO by integrating components from the Leopard 2 into the XM-1 Abrams prototype. However, due to American laws, Germany modified the Leopard 2 to meet U.S. Army requirements and sent a prototype, whole, ballistic test vehicle and special ballistics parts to the U.S. for testing after a Memorandum of Understanding was signed in 1974. Advancements The Leopard 2AV was created to meet U.S. and German protection requirements, 
with a modified T14 mod turret and simplified fire control systems. The final design had improved ballistics protection, resulting in the Leopard 2A1, introduced in 1982. The Leopard 2A2 featured further improvements and entered service in 1987. These versions greatly improved the Leopard 2's performance and protection, making it a widely exported main battle tank. The rejection of the Leopard 2AV by the U.S. Army led to a political debate in Germany, with some politicians questioning the competence of Bundeswehr's procurement office. However, it was eventually decided to continue the development of the Leopard 2 and sell it to foreign customers. The first export customer was the Netherlands, which ordered 445 Leopard 2s in 1979. Other countries that have operated the Leopard 2 include Switzerland, Austria, Sweden, Spain, Denmark, Norway, Finland, Canada, Greece, Turkey, and Singapore. The Leopard 2 has also been licensed produced in Spain and Turkey. The latest version of the Leopard 2, the Leopard 2A7 Plus, was introduced in 2014 and features enhanced protection, mobility, and situational awareness systems. As we look to the future, it's clear that the Leopard 2 will continue to evolve and adapt to meet the ever-changing needs of modern warfare. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.